achieve this solution through the position of vice president. Mm -hmm. Uh, so one of the issues ASB has faced is how it's viewed as exclusive and maybe lacking the true voice of the entire student body. Um, I think one thing ASB can do to fix this is to develop a better uh, communication system both from, so that goes both ways, so both from ASB to outside uh, communicating information and also getting opinions from outside ASB to inside. Um, and I think it's um, uh, important to establish a more personal form of communication throughout the school. So for example, when important decisions are being made in the ASB to uh, maybe have ASB uh, members and students go out during lunch and talk to people that aren't in ASB to uh, see what their opinions are and to include those opinions, opinions in our ASB discussions. Um, I really want to bring more spirit and pride back into the school and I feel like in order to do that we have to fix a few things. One of this is, like Catherine said, um, our communication with people outside of ASB. We don't really like it's mostly just a lot of his kids within ASB. Um, for example, like I have a little sister in Gen Ed and like I'll be dressed up for spirit week and I'll ask why aren't you dressed up and she just had no idea and none of her, her other friends did. So I feel like a good way to improve that is to maybe open up our classroom during lunch and have the board listen to others' ideas, or maybe like go around during the second period or at lunch to like yeah, communicate and just kind of um, advertise what Cameron we're doing. Um, another thing that I think we have a problem with is our fundraisers, because barely anybody ever hears about them. We just put up a few posters, barely anybody in our class really participates in these. And I feel like if we were able to get more people involved, then um, more people would be willing to help out. We could improve things like our rallies and parades. Dovetailing off of that, how would you improve like the climate and culture within McClatchy? Like things like that. How do you prevent that? <laughs> uh, so I think school spirit and school culture all starts with the ASB class. The ASB class needs to be the first to bring the hype in order to set an example for the rest of the school. Um, hey, you, one of the ways ASB can yeah, honestly do this so is uh, just show the main which we already do. But I think it's also important to show there's a lot of the other events we have going on in the really school um, to more people to know about them. And I think that counter. when students support other students, that's the first step to building a tight knit community within the school. Um, in addition, I want to make ASB more accessible to the rest of the school. So, like I talked about before, um, I think if we start to be able to get opinions from outside of ASB and uh, create a different image for ASB and take away that image that it's exclusive, um, I think that will um, lead to a better school culture and climate. My idea for Hitachi is to get more people involved. I feel like in ASB there are a lot of programs that are underrepresented and I think that this can be improved by really listening to students' ideas and concerns outside of ASB. So maybe you could implement something um, like a suggestion box or like have a lunch open or again like I said going around to classes um, so that people can come in and voice their opinion, opinions and concerns to the board and that will help them not see ASB as just an inclusive, like, inclusive class. It can open up to the rest of the school. Thank you. So, uh, part of the job of the ASB board is the morning announcements. So as a miniature audition for that, please tell us your best joke. Okay. So, <laughs> a rope walks into a restaurant, and the host asks the rope, are you a rope? The rope responds, yes. The host says, I'm sorry, we don't serve ropes. So the rope walks out of the restaurant, ties himself in a knot, walks back into the restaurant. The host says, are you a rope? The rope says, nope, I'm afraid not. First speaker, tell us about yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Hayden Greenfield. I've lived in Sacramento my whole life. I was born here. I went to Sutter Middle School and I was in a leadership program there. I also played soccer there. Um, when I came to McClatchy, I started playing on the soccer team and I still am today. Um, I've only been in ASD one year, but I've really enjoyed it because I feel like there's a lot of fun things that we get to do in that class and a lot of teamwork, which I do enjoy doing. Um, I love hanging out with my friends. My favorite pastime is reading and painting. And I have a dog named Rio, who I love. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. First off, I want to thank everyone for spending their lunch in here. 
My name is Adelina. I like to listen to Smino. My favorite. For the past two summers, my year-round team has qualified and played at the Junior Olympics. However, my favorite part last year was attending the Chicano Latino Youth Leadership Conference, where I made a lot of long-lasting friends from all across California. In the future, I hope to go to a four-year college somewhere in state, and I want to study abroad in a Spanish-speaking country. Thank you. And why are you running for this position? All right, I feel like anyone running for board wants to make change. Obviously, that's what ASD is for. We we're kind of the culture and heart of the school, and so that is my main priority. But I also have family who went to Nakachi, and they always talk about their high school experience. My dad, aunt, and uncle all went here, um, and a lot of your guys' parents in the audience, I, they know them. And so I'm really connected to the school, and I have a lot of pride for it. But I feel that in recent years, we've kind of been straying away from that, and so I hope that we can come back to that, and hopefully the community around us can learn to love us as much as we love ourselves. Um, and also the idea of being president um, sounds like a challenge to me and I want to challenge myself so that when I go into college I can be prepared um, and I also know that I have a lot of um, abilities that I can bring to the table and leadership that I know I can use to change ASP. So I'm running for this position because I believe I can bring positive change to the school and ASP as a class. Uh, people need to see McClatchy as a school that cares about every student. I joined ASB because I wanted to help the school become a better learning environment for everyone. And this position will help me achieve that goal by working together with students and administration. Thank you. And again, manners are important. What makes you the better candidate for this position? Well, I think I am a good candidate for this position because, as I said, I've been in leadership already in middle school. But one thing that I'm very, a big thing that I'm a part of at the school is Girls on the Rise. And that's a program people might not know about, but I'm actually a mentor for younger kids at this school. And we just talk about all things, whether it be like body positivity or things that we don't learn about in school, um, like health insurance, going into college, just normal things. And it's a great way for me to um, mentor younger girls and kind of guide them through their high school career since I'm a little bit older than them. And I've also been on a soccer team my entire life and also a cross country team. And so I know how to be, I know how to work as a team and I know how to be open-minded and listen to other people. And I feel that it's been a little chaotic in this <coughs> and I think that there needs to be people who can stand up for the quieter people in the crowd who might be a little too nervous to share their ideas or step up. And so I feel like I can definitely do that. Um, any athlete playing at a competitive level needs to have a sense of self-motivation, reliability, and determination. I believe these are all qualities that will make me a productive ASD board president. Over the summer at the leadership conference, we did many workshops and seminars that not only helped me become a more outspoken and more confident person, but it taught me how to identify problems and work with others to find solutions. I can apply these skills as president to make sure every student feels like they're being listened to and taking their concerns seriously. If I'm elected, I will not be the only person making decisions because I'll work with students from different grades and programs to find solutions together. Thank you. So the ASB board president has a fair amount of power. Uh, using that power, uh, what will that position allow you to fix at Mapachi? Well, we all know, as the vice president has already kind of gone over, that ASB is a very exclusive club, I feel. There's a lot of, not a lot of gen ed or really anyone else other than his, and I think that really is not that great because for obvious reasons, but I think that a great way to make it more inclusive is if we did something maybe like an application or something like that for ASB, just to show that the people in ASB are actually motivated and they'll do more than just stand um, in the room. And I feel like as a person who um, has gone through a lot of leadership things in my life, um, it would be important for everyone at high school to feel like they matter, like their opinions matter. May I have um, Yvette Panaco to the attendance office? Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to Much like Jaden, I want to make ASC more inclusive and more prominent at TKM. I will make it more inclusive by holding hearings where any student, even if they're not in ASC, can submit or ask questions to administration or district officials. I believe this will help the student body be heard by the people who are doing the change and will also introduce ASC. If elected president, I'll have more informa information nights for college and career choices that every student can benefit from. All students will be invited and encouraged to attend. I want everyone to believe that they will have a bright future after high school, and I know we can do this by showing different paths to personal achievement. Curious, how do you plan on improving the climate and culture at Apache as a potential ASB board president? 
Well, as we've been saying, I think unity is a really big part of our school that is lacking. And I think that a great idea to make everyone at the school feel like they have a voice would be have something sort of like a drop box. Maybe there can just be something at our school where if someone needs help or if they have an idea that they want the school to change, then they can come and place their opinion in it and ASB can go through that. Um, and I also think, as we've been saying, better representation in ASB so more ideas can come to the surface. And I also think that a really big problem at our school is cleanliness, especially in the bathrooms, and I feel like that would be a big thing that we need to change. So a drop box would work great. <laughs> I feel like one of my responsibilities as president would be to better the high school experience for everyone. Being one of the most diverse schools in California, it is important to celebrate all of our different interests and backgrounds. If elected, I'll advocate for more student-led events to celebrate the many cultures we have at CKM. I also believe we should increase awareness for all the resources available on campus, such as the Student Support Center. In the future, I want ASB to partner with the Student Support Center to help kids who benefit from it. Finally, ASB should reach out to small local businesses to find more fundraising opportunities. Increasing fund will allow us to have more activities on and off campus that everyone can enjoy. Thank you. And then we all know our current board president, Daisy Lewis, as a very funny individual. Can you top Daisy's humor with your best joke? Okay. okay. <laughs> what is the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants? One is a crusty bus station and the other is a busty crust station. What do you call a camel with no hugs? Humphrey. Thank you very much. You are both very funny individuals. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, give it up for your ASB.